Hey everybody, I'm Brian Way, and I'm going to show you how I went about painting my American Racing Torque Thrust wheels to match the cove of the Corvette. Stay tuned and check it out. So the first step you're going to want to do is mask off this milled finish aluminum right here. That way you, when you're sanding, you don't hit that nice finish area and there's no scratches when you're all done. So let's mask that off. So I'm gonna use this 3M471 tape. It's a uh, half inch wide and really great for traveling around those radiuses. One more pass of this around the radius and then we'll move to paper tape. All right, now that we got just up that little radius a little bit, I'm gonna move up to the inch and a half tape and wrap it up the edge. All right, so as you can see, this tape is hanging over the edge. I'm gonna show you the knife that I use to cut this real sharp and I leave it hanging over the edge because it's a lot easier than trying to lay that tape down exactly. So the knife that I'm gonna use is called the Kaizen Knife Thin and this has a really nice eighth inch sharp blade to, uh, to run right around that radius and get it right on that line that we want. Check it out. So that left an ultra clean line all the way around the wheel. Now we're gonna to go to the sanding process. So to break this paint, and I believe it is a paint, uh, Torque Thrust says they coat them with a gray paint and it feels like a raw aluminum material, but when you go to sand it, it comes right off. It becomes very smooth as a really nice surface to prep for the, uh, for the primer. All right, let's get to it. This is the longest process. All right, so there it is, that 180 grit soft back paper. Did a really nice job. All right, we're gonna give it a quick wipe here with this tack cloth, blow it off again, and it's ready for primer. I am gonna mask off the back of this before it gets painted, but before that, I'm gonna run the half inch tape all the way around this one finished milled edge on the inside. All right, so here's the primer, 2K epoxy primer, 368 0032, must use a respirator for this. You're gonna take the push button, put it on the bottom and break that activator. and shake it for a couple of minutes and it will be good to go. So I took a piece of scrap foam, cut it into a circle on the CNC, push it in from the back side, and blocked all those holes up. You could certainly prime them and wait 45 minutes to an hour and then go right into your top coat, but I chose to wait overnight and since I did that, I'm going to give them a quick scuff with a gray scotch bright. All right, so as you can see, I inserted some foam backer in all of the wheels and now I am ready to go with the custom color to match the cove of the Corvette, Satine Silver. Satin Silver looks really good. One can just did it. And by just did it, I mean I ran out. I still have one more can, but I don't think I need to open it. Looks really sharp. So that paint is a two-part system. Next is the Clear Glamour 2K spray. This is an activator, must wear a mask as well. And this will finish it off nice. My favorite part is next, the masking tape peel. And for that final peel, this is the best part right here. Look at that line. That is so sharp. Oh, love it. So nice.
see the frosting on the cake. Oh man, that's gonna be so nice. Put those red line tires on here. Can't wait.